Hey YouTube, um, it's the next day after trying that satin braid out and I just have taken it out so that I could get ready for school and the rest of my day. But does anybody else notice what I notice about my braid out now that it's taken out? And let me do a little pan around and I don't know if you guys could really see. I don't really know too much what it looks like in the back. I haven't looked at it yet. Well, if you haven't noticed what I noticed, it's that, um, darn it, I hate using the camera phone. If you haven't noticed what I noticed, is that my hair looks absolutely nothing like the way I see it look when you take it out in a video. When I undid the ends, at first I just unbraided it the way you would unbraid a regular braid, and it caused it to go ahead and like separate and pull out and the overall pattern is just like, in my opinion, the overall pattern is just lost. So then when I went to the other side, I went ahead and um, I unraveled it separately. I separated the ribbon from the hair and it had that nice curl pattern. But by the time I got to the top to unravel the top, it went ahead and it separated out the bottom. So it was really kind of pointless. So I'm thinking that maybe it's because I chose to do cornrows instead of individual braids. So I'm thinking when I rebraid it tonight, I'm going to do individuals. And that means I'm gonna have to buy some more uh, ribbon. And I think I need to buy a bad, another, a real satin scarf and uh, make thicker stri strips. So I'm gonna do that today. But um, I took it out using my my grapeseed oil so I wouldn't uh, break off my ends too bad and um, then I after I take it out took it out I uh, put some of the grapeseed oil on my hands and you know kind of just kind of patted it on like such or whatever so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try and separate it out and I'm gonna try and um, do a quick little side swap style or something just so I can make it through the day and I'll, I'll be back and we'll see how that works. Okay. Okay.